us. We have an Assassin's Creed Valhalla video, well, trailer to unpack here because I believe that there is plenty about masculinity and being a guy. And this shit is so testosterone fueled that seriously, by the end of it, your pubic hairs will be standing on end. So without further ado, let's get into this. They are heartless. I want you to notice a lot of subtext in here, and yes, I will be cutting it up much. Okay, okay, okay. No, 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 no. Okay, I can't do the voice the whole damn time because <laughs> we're gonna be cutting it up a lot. But what I want to uh, want you guys to notice is this: uh, the 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 way in which I can't tell you who the antagonist is in this game. I know the Vikings are the protagonists, and what we're hearing is they're 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 just animals they're terrible they they're 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 just beasts godless barbarians and i don't know why this guy reminds me so much he's like a combination of jacks and opie from sons of anarchy if any of you guys remember that show I, I i absolutely love that show but you know you're seeing the contrast and how they how their opposition believes them to be these things that they are not just because of how they they're not as feminine and and you'll see it in a moment but they're not as feminine or as civilized as them no they it's, it's this is rough shit here this is back in viking days and before any of you jackass oh why aren't there any black vikings dude like it's nor it's like this is nordic logic uh nordic um mythology right here <laughs> there's there weren't that weren't just weren't that too too many black people back then deal with it it is what it is <laughs> So if you played Odyssey, um, yeah, it's gonna be all of that. This is the thing about these games. Like, the trailers are so cool, but the gameplay ends up being very repetitious. And so, you know, it is what it is. But you gotta get through the story. They murder and kill blindly. No, they don't. See, and he let the women and children go. And that's why I used my... Somebody called it Vegeta? I'm not... I'm, that's just my epic voice, guys. But the deal is, that's the reason why I use it. Because it really is a clear distinction as to what true and honorable masculinity is. And, and it, what, it, what, uh, what not just honorable masculinity, but masculinity, that the urge to provide and protect and to not harm those who, you know, who pose no threat is it's within all of us fellas scar the lands of england lands they will never defend and notice like you know once again the protagonist is making its assumptions like oh they're just animals as the contrast is being shown like yo they have families they love their families they they're trying to settle they're 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 looking to build actually a big part of the um gameplay from what i hear is uh you can you know raise your own settlement which is fantastic just guys remember we got to do this in the real world as well <laughs> never love Time has come to speak to them in a language they will understand. So obviously, if you've ever seen any of these um, these types of uh, bits of entertainment or media, you know the the pompous jerk off Romanesque. Because uh, I don't, I can't particularly tell uh, what time that believes themselves to be more civilized is coming after a culture that they really don't understand and i in many ways i feel like there's some parallels there between the feminine and the masculine the feminine can never truly understand the masculine because of the different brain um functions that we have the way we're just like set up differently at our base level at birth so you know in many ways this can you know i, I see some reflections in this
honestly, it looks like the entire cast of Sons of Anarchy has made its uh, way into this game. Hey, Chibs, how's it going, buddy? <laughs> I mean, nobody said it'd be easy now, would it? But shit, yeah, tell me that's, that wasn't a badass scene. Uh, oh, yeah! Captation! Spirit of the oh. oh. No! That's a chick. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, Is that something? Let me, uh, you know, because I got to break it up, guys. Sorry, because <laughs> I'm, I'm into it, too. Trust me. But uh, yeah, the like their belief in their gods um, was so integral to how, um, you know, they, they, they went about their lives that ultimately the when it comes to atheism and those who are of no faith, it's yeah, it, how do I put it? I, I, be, I believe that it, there is a need for the balance for those to look at things from a base and logical perspective and but to have enough room to be able to have faith in things if that makes any sense but yeah so he's like yo god god's on our side <laughs> Tell me that. Oh my goodness. How, how, brothers, brothers, how's the hair on your head not standing at full attention right now? Probably because I was breaking it up. But if you stopped to watch this, if you were watching this video, you've probably seen the whole thing un, 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 uncut and unrated. But yeah, this is, uh, this is the definition of just badassery in motion. He's like, oh yeah, I, I got you, you little puny. Nope. <laughs> And then puts them down. And so, like, guys, like, I really, really enjoyed this trailer. And I wanted to, you know, bring some context to it for you guys. Because in many ways, you can see how, you know, that unwillingness to flinch on either side. It always ends in, the con ends in conflict. As well as, you know, the misunderstanding that's really, that seems to truly guide the game. Um, I'm not sure what the major conflict's going to be, whether it's going to be a more of a religious one, like, oh, yeah, my God's better than your God, or, I, um, you know, or as I previously described, and just said, oh, well, they're beasts, and, and they don't care, so we have to go and slaughter them, because, you know, but it's, it's usually, I, I don't know what the underpinning um, conflict is, for the most part. Uh, word on the street is that you'll be able to play as a chick, the same way as in Odyssey, um, yeah, so, uh, but, but most people played as Alexios in, uh, in Odyssey as I did. And so <laughs> it's like, all right, I mean, sure, those, that's resources that could be put towards better use, but because ultimately it should be whatever the creator wants. Like if, if I'm, if you're making a game that's like this, right, that, that's supposed to have some level of historical, you know, uh, it's supposed to have some attachment to historical reality. 
re the historical reality is for the most part, yeah, it would be a dude doing this, not some chick. But, you know, we live in a time, we, we, we as a society have gotten to a point where we're just so relaxed in, you know, in, in our comfort that, oh yeah, go ahead, yeah, no, 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 she could do that too. We're willing, like, we, we've, we've allowed the suspension of disbelief to just to go a bit way too hard. I'm not even gonna lie, but either ways, it, like, this looks epic as hell. This trailer is fantastic. I cannot speak to the game. I cannot speak to the gameplay. And I'm not going to here. But I thought, like, just watching the trailer is just, like, pure unbridled testosterone, man. Oh. <laughs> and uh, I really think that this is going to be an interesting game. I look forward to it far, far, far more than The Last of Us 2. But ultimately, I saw that there were some parallels that were to be drawn um, from, you know, like the conflict, the, the seeming conflict of the game, where it's like, oh, they're uncivilized, but no, my God, we're just, we're way more dude than you. <laughs> so with that being said, we're going to bring this one to an end. All the internet stuff. If you liked it, toss the like, dislike, go ahead, do that too. Nobody's scared of you. Sub, if you enjoy my fantastic voice, and you want to get videos like this every single day, share, because sharing is caring, and YouTube and bitch you like, aren't the biggest fans of your boy over here for very obvious reasons, bang the bell for notifications and speak. Let me know. What do you guys think in the comments? Like, I, I think this is going to be basically a lot like Odyssey, just so much repetition, a, whole, a gigantic map, uh, a whole lot of people to murder, but ultimately very, very, very repetitious, and as most games are. But the trailer is, fan. this is top-notch shit right here, man. I'm, I'm digging this trailer. I want to see this movie. I don't, I, like, honestly... And that's the great thing about YouTube is like they have cutscenes from the movies stitched together. Like MK Fire and Ice does a lot of that, so it's like okay, yeah, you can watch the game as a movie if you don't want to have to sit through all of all of the boring stuff. But then again, there's choice, and they're really good at that. Over um, there, there's choices and different um story branches. So we'll see what it comes down to. But with, let me know what do you think in the comments. Uh, are you interested in the game? Do you think that this is cool? Uh, the like, because I, I think it's cool. It's super super um badass for lack of a better term but i mean if you got a better synonym and then by all means let me know in the comments and until the next one guys